Amid the search for Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly, who were last seen March 30th, investigators recovered two bodies in the area over the weekend. And while they have not yet been positively identified, four people are now charged in connection to the disappearances. And we're finally learning some more about them and their pasts. News Nation senior national correspondent Brian Inton now live there in Oklahoma. Brian, obviously this case continues to unfold, to develop. What is the latest there as of right now? Yeah, there's been shocking developments, it seems like, every day, Nicole. Sorry to join you from the car. We've been racing around, chasing different leads, going back and forth between Kansas and Oklahoma. All of this happening really right on the border between the two states. Uh, I want to show you, though, we have some new video, this right here. Uh, this is video from one of the properties connected to one of the suspects. His name is Tad Cullum. He's the boyfriend of Grandma Tiffany Adams, who's sort of been at the center of this whole thing. We were over at that property. Uh, there were a number of police officers there, and they actually towed, you can see right there, they were towing a white trailer. Uh, there is something significant about that trailer, we are told, and that is the reason police wanted uh, to take it into evidence. And what's interesting, Nicole, is we have heard from witnesses that they saw that white trailer in the area of where the two moms were killed. So it is possible that that is the trailer that was used to transport the bodies. That is obviously something police are uh, investigating uh, right now. Again, it's it's been a wild couple of days as this has come together. Uh, Grandma Tiffany Adams had been planning to kill the mother of her grandchildren. According to the affidavit, there was this very, very contentious custody dispute that had been ongoing uh, that seems to be at the center of this whole thing. We've learned that there was a previous attempt and plan to actually uh, kill the victims before. That's something that we continue to look into. Uh, and both, uh, actually all four of the suspects will be in court tomorrow. Uh, so hopefully we'll learn a little bit more, Nicole. And there are so many layers to all of this because as we can see on our screen uh, at the bottom, they were God's Misfits group. What This is a religious cult group. What can you tell us uh, about it? Because the accused killers are allegedly part of this group. Yeah, so this is apparently a very, very secretive group in this area. Uh, we did not know that this was part of the puzzle until the affidavits came out. And this is something that uh, investigators discovered that all four of the suspects had in common. Again, the name of the group is God Mis God's Misfits. Uh, and we are told that it is an anti-government group. Uh, that has a religious inf affiliation. Uh, they hold meetings in the area. Uh, and again, all four of the suspects, according to police, were a part of this group. Now, did it actually really have anything to do uh, with the murders? That we don't know. Again, all indications are that the murders were really focused around this custody dispute. Uh, but now that we know that there's this anti-government group involved, God's misfits, uh, it's something that uh, that we're going to continue to look into, Nicole. Yeah, well, we know uh, you will be getting answers. All right, Brian Enton live there in Oklahoma. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.